We got to talk America's team, the Sacramento Kings last night. A big blowout win over Orlando, very much in part to a franchise record 23 threes. Harrison Barnes with a season high 30. Uh, Kings right now sitting in the fifth spot with a record of 21 and 18. Eddie, your hometown Kings. Good story, good team. Which? Great, great story. Maybe even the best story in the league, but also a good team. And when they added Mike Brown, it was such a coaching upgrade for them. You just knew things were going to change for that franchise and that roster as well. And getting some bonus at the trade deadline is a little harder to implement, and they were already behind the eight ball when they did that. But with a full camp and a, a full season to get this right, they've shown that, you know, they might get home court advantage in these playoffs. They're that good right now. Um, it's great for the city. It's great for that organization who, again, we've said this a bunch of times, longest playoff drought in the four major professional sports. You want to see that in one way or another. Um, and it looked like it might not have to be the play-in. So, you know, light the beam, all that cool stuff. But, but they look great. And when they shoot it like they shot it last night, they've done this a few times this season. They did it to the Nets. And everybody thought the sky was falling for the Nets. And that happened. They're really hard to beat. So... Um, it's a well put together roster and they have opportunity to add some more pieces if they feel like they want to. Yeah, I agree. I think this is the best story of the NBA so far. I think Sacramento needed this and it's just a good time right now in Sacramento. It's fun. It's positive. Uh, and they do have a very good team. I love Sabonis. I love Fox. I love the addition of Kevin Herter. Uh, Harrison Barnes is one of those guys that you know what you're going to get. He's going to be solid. He's going to do multiple things out there on the court. Uh, and they got a lot of young guys that can play, and they play the right way. And, and Mike Brown's got them playing extremely hard and, and unselfish. And it's fun to watch. And, and this, is a, this is definitely a feel-good story. I feel better about them being good. Do I think they're a contender? Eh. Probably not, but you know what? In their situation, I don't think it matters because this is a huge step forward for them. This is a bunch of progress that they've made, and it's been a long time coming for this franchise, for this city, and I'm just happy to see them doing well, and they are going to get into the playoffs, and maybe they get a good matchup and they can advance, but uh, for now, you know, they're exceeding everyone's expectations, and they're playing extremely well. Yeah, I think the idea that they could perhaps shock a few people in the playoffs would be amazing. It would also add to what Mike Brown's been able to do this season. Um, and it's a year in which we're seeing a lot of great coaching, but it's never too early. Coach of the year, would you give it to Mike Brown, Chandler? Mm, he's up there. It's hard to go against him. <laughs> I, I, it's tough. I, I like J.B. Bickerstaff in Cleveland. I like Malone in Denver. Can Jock Bond get coach of the year for what he's done in that turnaround mm. there? There's a lot of guys that are doing a good job, but Mike Brown is right there with the transition he's made with just the complete culture change, the way they have. You see the clips of him, you know, interacting with the players. It, it, it's fun and it's a happy time and it's positive. And, and that has a lot to do with Mike Brown's presence there. But uh, you could go one of many ways, but yeah, he's in there. Yeah, Willie Eddie Green's agree? up there too. Yeah. It's, it's oh, gonna it's gonna be a tough race. I mean, he's deserving as well. But if Willie Green gets the one seed, the two seed, it's gonna be hard to argue against that. Jock Vaughn, like you mentioned, for all the reasons we've talked about before, um, I like the Malone mention as well. You know, this is a team that that is supposed to be good, but you get credit for that as as well. You get credit for making your team even better, and they're already supposed to be good. Uh, it's a tight race, Joe Mazzula. We, I was actually talking to Shams about this the other day, and we thought it might be a two-guy race, but you know, Mike Brown is right there, and, and deservingly so. And I'm happy he's around. getting this. I'm happy he's that? getting this kind of like second life in the NBA as he sat back as an assistant. Remember, his Lakers tenure ended, and, and people were not excited about that. Obviously, he had the Cavs run, and people were wondering if he could win the big game and all that stuff. So his time with the Warriors obviously worked out well for him. And now he's getting his chance, and he's showing what he is. He's one of the better coaches in the league. We did text about that the other day, Eddie, and I kind of slept on Mike Brown, but that's one of the best stories in the league for sure. So when you look at Willie Green, Jock Vaughn, Mike Brown, uh, Mike Malone, J.B. Bickerstaff, I mean, that's probably your top five right there when you look at Coach of the Year rankings as of now. I mean, it all makes sense because we're talking about any given team could take away either conference. And so I feel like given that, then there are a lot of coaches that are up for grabs as well. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, the latest on Kevin Durant from Shams and which Hornet is heating up the trade market when Run It Back returns. Run It Back. 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 Run It Back.